In the Pacific Northwest, wild salmon are under threat. We've had over a century and a half of resource extraction. Dam building, logging, agriculture, these activities have taken a toll on these fish. Here in Oregon, though, we've still got free-flowing coastal rivers that are surrounded by public lands. These are some of our last salmon refuges. These are the places we can't lose. These are wild salmon strongholds. The core of Wild Salmon Center's mission is protecting and restoring wild salmon strongholds. So we are working on a process with the Nehalem Watershed Council where we're implementing structures designed to recruit beaver to locations where we feel as though restoration can have the greatest impact in these small headwater systems. You know, historically, beaver were tromping all over the coast range, and we have done a very, very good job of extirpating them or reducing their numbers in a whole number of watersheds. We become increasingly aware that beaver are a keystone species. The way they construct their dams and colonize a watershed is beneficial to the coho rearing and refuge, and that they're amazing restoration workers. When the beavers build their dam, they're able to impound a lot of water, right? Mm -hmm. And so you end up generating from that single dam, you generate a lot of habitat. It's the first time beaver dam analogs have really been implemented at a significant scale in the Oregon Coast Range as a coho recovery tool. So we're quite excited about how beaver dam analogs can really help jumpstart the productivity of these, these tributary systems. Restoring a process, right? Yeah. You're restoring function. And right. Ultimately, that's what our, any restoration should be aimed at, right? While restoration is essential to recovery, there's a complementary approach, which is prevention and preventing the next round of mistakes. So we also invest very heavily in preventing harm. And if you look at wild salmon conservation across the Pacific Rim, it is the prevention of harm in places that are functioning that is going to ensure we have wild salmon over the long term. Each time you come down here is a new adventure. This is a unique part of the Nehalem system. But what better way to spend your time? Nice, beautiful day like today, nice river. Just need a couple fish. My, my dad got to see the heyday of the steelhead runs in the Nehalem. And, you know, he's got pictures of, you know, their limit of fish and big, nice, big steelhead. Wouldn't that be something to be able to fish on 300,000 coho coming up this creek? Could you imagine what that was like back in that day? The steelhead, the Chinook. Seeing these fish come up this river is important to me. It's important to our communities. It's important to our state. We don't want to let go of this heritage. And so they need somebody on their side fighting for them. It's pretty impressive to work with these local communities and just see how much they rely on the Nehalem River. One thing that local partnerships bring that is such of high value is just the insurmountable passion for a place. Wild Salmon Center does a lot of policy work with local partners, making sure that we're protecting these strongholds of salmon, these really important ecosystems for the long term, and creating these corridors for wildlife and for salmon. Wild Salmon Center is working on a 17 and a half mile segment of the Nehalem River, and we're proposing it as a state scenic waterway, which would designate that whole 17 and a half mile stretch and make sure that there's no dams, reservoir, or any other structures that would impede on flow. 
getting this into the Oregon Scenic Waterway really sets the example and, and, and gets that protection in this critical corridor. And these, these fish all have to pass through here. It's ensuring that some of our most iconic river is protected for the long term, for future generations, for fish, for wildlife, and for water quality. The Salmon Stronghold approach is not a singular conservation strategy. It is about protecting habitats that are intact and restoring those that are degraded. Through the protection and restoration of our coastal watersheds, we can ensure that wild salmon thrive deep into the 21st century.